Hello everyone, and welcome to our Build a Clip tutorial. My name is Zach Kath Nelson. I'm the Director of Growth with Clipfolio. And in this series of videos, we're gonna start simple and gradually introduce more complex concepts and show you how to manipulate and do some simple things with your raw data to visualize it exactly as you need. Let's get started. So first things first, I'm in a new trial account. I'm gonna skip some of the pre-built content that we see in the middle, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start building my own content. I'm gonna first add a dashboard, blank dashboard here that we can slowly start to add content to, and we're gonna add a clip to that dashboard. For today, we are gonna build a custom clip. This screen right here is where the magic happens. What we see is a blank slate where we're gonna be able to bring our data to life exactly as we need. Over on the right, we have our component palette, which shows us all the different types of visuals that we can use to showcase our data. You're gonna find all the standard types of charts and graphs in this list. And for today, we're gonna to start with something really nice and simple and just grab a label. So any of the chart types we wanna use, we can click and drag into our working area in the middle. And as soon as we do so, we see the screen adjust and two, two new things happen. One, over at the top left, we see our component tree. I often refer to this as a table of contents. Throughout our video series, you're gonna be able to see how this grows and grows as we add new elements to our chart. What we also see down at the bottom are three different panels where you can take different actions to manipulate and show your data however you need. The first is the data panel, and we'll come back to this in a moment. The second is a really powerful properties panel where we can change a lot of really, really simple things about the data that we're working with. The first thing I'm going to do is change the font color. I'm also going to right align this data and later on, we'll come back and see what else we can do here. The data panel is where we're going to uh, add our production data that we want to use. So down at the bottom left, I'm going to add a data source. And I'm just going to use one of the sample data sets that you can find in your trial account so you can follow along. I'm going to choose the example sales booked data set. So here we have some nice, clean, fictional data that we can use to build out a few examples. We've got a lot of different data points here, including some date elements, some elements that we might want to segment or filter by, including location and sales rep. And over on the right, we've got some numerical values that we can really use to create some nice, compelling visuals. So in our label, I can choose uh, any column of data. I can select a small number of cells of data or even just a single cell. Often, and generally a best practice, to make your clips automatic and uh, to ensure that we're always capturing the right data, we typically recommend choosing an entire column of data. So I'm gonna choose the revenue column. And this is working nicely, although as you can see, it's probably not showing the data in the most readable way for our users. It's showing every cell in this column. And as this data set grows over time, if new data points come in the bottom, because we've selected the entire column, all of those new data points are gonna be included. So there's two simple ways to aggregate this data and they're accessible in, uh, well, there's one way to aggregate the data. They're accessible in two different places. One, in the properties panel, I can simply choose to show as an aggregated value. And now all of a sudden, our data looks a lot more readable. Uh, I have the option to aggregate it as an average, median. I can count the different rows of data. Some is the default uh, choice with numerical data, and that's often what, what I would have wanted to do. So we're gonna leave it like that. 
I can access the same option by right clicking on the label up in the component tree and choose to show it as an aggregated value. Let's make a couple other changes here to the formatting of this. I'm gonna change the font to medium. I'm also gonna add a prefix so we clearly show our users some context around what this data is. I'm gonna change the font of our prefix from blue to the regular black, and I'm gonna take it out of bold just to sort of showcase our number in a better way. I'm also gonna deselect automatically format this data so we can specify that it is a currency. So let's give our clip a title. I'm going to click on the title element. I could also click on the clip section in our component tree. We're going to call this clip revenue data. We'll change the font to be a little bit larger and then we will save. Here we can share our clip with any other users in our trial account, but for now we will just save. And here's the simple example that we've built. So to recap what we covered today, we walked through several different elements of the clip editor where we can bring our data to life and visualize it in tons of different ways to best suit the needs of our users. We brought in a label component and customized several elements of it, including the color, the alignment of the text, font, size, and things like that. And we, we saw how to aggregate data in a simple way to just present um, a clean, readable number to our users. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Stay tuned for subsequent videos in this series where we'll introduce more complexity and add other elements into this visualization. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.